okay guys um carty and carty here with you guys all right just want to show you guys a little video of inside one of these caps that i took from a rockville subwoofer yeah the 18 inch subwoofer that rockville have yeah i don't know about yeah i took this cap from it so let me show you the circuit board this is the circuit board so I added some parts for the rest of these. I, I did have two of these available, so I installed them. You'll see my video I put up with this subwoofer repair and stuff. So now I need four, one, two, three, four, so yep. And then everything will be okay. Now this one did have a buzzing sound, but something with this unique, was very unique that I, you know, I would say not the first time I get caps like, you know what this does, but I'm gonna show you guys what happened. So, so guys, on that circuit board, removing them, these caps, they broke off like that. The stump, yeah. So you see this one have one pin left. Yeah, the other one was left in the circuit. I have to remove it by, you know, by myself. And then I realized you know this one is pretty yeah I think this is the best one of out of all of them because this one is yeah it's really staying together and these caps they shake and I said you know I was curious so I said okay I'm gonna take one of them apart and I did and I'll just show you and if you guys wanna know what I use to take this apart let me show you just one of these box for the year and I go around it go around it go around it and then after I go around a bit when I go around it it wasn't open then I put you know a little at the side and open a little here and then I prize it up prize it up to get it open so as you guys can see that you see that empty gap space between the side here yeah you see that you see that guys it's see this damn thing is moving it shouldn't be like that either it should be and this wasn't bulging so there's no way it should be shaking like that you understand so i think maybe it was supposed to touch right or it's supposed to be wrapped tight enough so it touched to the side of this that's my scenario that make more sense because normally when i used to repair and i used to that's one of the ways we used to find out if they're really bad if they're not bulge and then let me show you something guys look at this as I took it apart and I turn it upside down this come out just like that you understand the other pin wasn't connected it comes out just like that so I'm not supposed to do this with my bare hands but this is not my first time taking one of these apart show you guys oh the capacitor when he made it you see guys so you have this sheet here and then you have this aluminum or metal yeah I think it's an aluminum file sheet see that guys you wind it right out I'm gonna show you what happened at the end of it where all they connect the wires and then so they can get a charge all right you see one connected to this side of the aluminum file that's inside of it. Let me go now. One to the end. Right. Come on, come on, come on. Reveal yourself. Where is the other side connected to? Let's see. Guys, I have a bunch of stuff here now. So I have one there. Let's see. One on this side. And I'm trying to figure out where the other one goes. So yeah. So this was doubled. So that makes sense.
so the next one should be on the other hand of this one which I didn't see it as yet it's not here oh yes guys on that hand and then let's see on this end so you guys could see how it goes so you have double aluminum file you guys and you could see where they connected how they connect them and I told him man, look at this yeah I tore it apart and this one yikes yikes it comes off so and these little damn thing connected the pin of the capacitor you know those things must come apart and this is all from inside of a capacitor and this one was the you guys could see it looked like um a what do you call it a pen shell or a, yeah some like that this guys and this one was the 63 volts 6800 microfarad on all of this component guys that hamper for you know these caps as you can see yeah, I told you they're not supposed to shake, but you know, I get these wasn't wrapped tight enough. Know, these are some mass production that I don't know where Rockville get them from. Not bashing them or anything, but I'm just saying. This is the first time I've seen, you know, a cap do like that. I know the pin all corroded off and stuff, but I never see like they burnt off inside the cap itself, the capacitor, you know. So that kind of, that one is new to me, so. So showing you guys what happened and how inside of one of these look and yep so it has two coating of i mean wrapping of aluminum file one for the positive one for the negative so yeah it was wrapped like this so outside here is a piece of paper and it, i think the charge seeping through it on this side yeah same thing and it that's what they use to insulate one aluminum file from the other so they don't shard it out so that's how you get the charge from the capacitor you understand similar to our uh, i would say uh transformer work with the magnetism you know and stuff like that that's how the charge goes through but yep this is so now this is our trash that's guys um all right guys um thank you guys for watching Please like, subscribe if you like what you see, guys. And Cardi and Cardi, out for now. And guys, see you on the next one.